nafasi za kutosha za kuketi. Alafu kwa heshima nitaomba the media team we shall only allow two photographers hapa juu ya wengine nitaomba kwa heshima moja kutaanguka ili tu na nafasi ya kutosha tusilete msoba wangu. Alafu kwa heshima tena naombeni wale wote walioko hapa juu waweze kupanda na yote naweza kutafadhali naweza kutambua kwa mbali wasili kwa kwa wa kaka wangu ah uh, hizo tena si weekly ambetsa kupara natambua kuwasili kwa gavana wa Kakamega ah uh, his excellency Wycliffe Ambetsa Opara makofu kwa gavana mkalai asante sana karibu natambua kuwasili kwa mheshimiwa honorable wycliffe ambetsa opara ambaye ni gavana wa Kakamega chama cha ODM Tafadhali chukua nafasi yako 
security watu wachukue nafasi zao media tuingie kwa nafasi yetu tafadhali tumegochea mgeni wa heshima ameingia tuchukue nafasi yetu tafadhali asante i'm handing over program to my colleague akide tafadhali take over asante sana mwanzangu na nimeomba sote tumshukuru upande wa leo upande wa mwingine kwa sababu tunaenda kwa kipindi tofauti tafadhali ngeomba niweze kunisaidia upande wa mwingine Members of the 4th Estate, tafadhali ngeomba tushuke ili tuanze rasmi uh, shughuli yetu ya leo. Ah uh, ngeomba kwa heshima. Ngeomba kwa heshima sote tusimame kwa wimbo wa taifa wa Jamhuri ya Kenya uh, kisha baadaye wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Tofadhali wimbo wa taifa wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. tumesimama ningependa kumuomba Reverend Father Fred Ujilong pamoja na Kari Idris Nyaboga waweze kutuongoza kwa maombi Reverend Father Fred Ujilong na Kari Idris Nyaboga Kumana, 
mindful of our purpose in the name of our God Almighty and with this blessing, Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Almighty Father, we thank you for this beautiful country, Kenya, our beautiful country, Lucia. We praise you for its diversity in people, cultures, traditions, and religions, and resources. Abba Father, thank you for all the good that has happened in this great land. We ask for your forgiveness for all the sins committed in the count of Bukia and our, count, our country, Kenya. Jesus, Master, wash in your most precious blood all the people living in our land, Kenya, and our county, Bukia. Most holy, enlightened in the light of the gospel, establish the kingdom of love, and inspire good leadership. Set our country free from hatred, tribalism, ethnicity, division, the discord, corruption, immorality, witchcraft, and other forms of impurity. Mother Mary, Queen of Love, Intercede for our new governor, Dr. Paul Otwoma, and his deputy, Arthur Dera, and all elected leaders in our country and also in our county, Lucia, that they may strive daily to become true leaders. All the angels and saints in heaven, please join us in prayer for our beloved country, Kenya and our county to see all glory and honor and worship be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Elect, uh, Honorable Geoffrey Makoha Odanga, 
Matthias, uh, Honorable Mary Otucho Emase, uh, Teso Sao, uh, Honorable Geoffrey Ekesa Molaya, Mbale, uh, Honorable Dr. Wil Wilberforce Oundo Modeno, uh, Funyola, uh, Honorable Dr. Rafael Sauti Wanjala, uh, Honorable Honorable Oku Hawinya, Teso Nok, Uh, presiding High Court Judge, Honorable Justice P.J. Otieno, uh, Honorable Lucy Mbasi, Chief Magistrate uh, Busia, uh, Speaker of the County Assembly, Honorable Bernard Wamalo, Members of the Assumption of Office Committee present, Members of the County Assembly present, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, it is my humble duty to invite uh, Honorable Lucy Ambassi, uh, the Chief Magistrate Busia, uh, so that uh, she can guide us on the next program. Chief, Just Chief Magistrate, Honorable Lucy Ambassi.
office for the governor, Article 74 of the Constitution and Section 12.1 of the Assumption of Office of Governor Act 2019. I, Honorable Dr. Toma Paul Nyongesa, do swear that I shall always truly and diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Governor of Busia County, that I shall diligently discharge my duties and perform my functions in the said office, and that I'll do justice to all in accordance with the Constitution and the laws of Kenya without fear, favor, affection, or ill will. So help me God. Leadership and Integrity Act number 19 of 2012 and the Leadership and Integrity Regulations 2015. Commitment to General Leadership and Integrity Court. Pursuant to Section 38 of the Leadership and Integrity Act. Act. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We start again and continue. I, Dr. Toma Paul Nyongesa, holder of the National Identity Pact, National Identity Number 7129467, and Post Office Private Bank Busia 5400, having been elected as the governor of the county of Busia, do hereby confirm that I have read and understood the Leadership and Integrity Act number 19 of 2012 and commit to abide by the General Leadership and Integrity Code as set out under Part 2 of the Act. Matia sahihi kuonyesha kuwa Anatafata sheria zote His Excellency the Governor. 
Honorable Dr. Paul Nongesa Ostoma uh, is currently signing the commitment of the general leadership and the integrity call. And the Honorable Justice PJ Otiemo is also confirming that he indeed witnessed uh, the signing of the commitment of the general leadership and the integrity court. I shall always truly and diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Deputy Governor of Busia County. 
that I shall diligently discharge my duties and perform my functions in the said office, and that I will do justice to all in accordance with the Constitution and the laws of Kenya without fear, favor, affection, or ill will. So help me God. I now call upon the Deputy Governor to take his oath for integrity to your Lordship. I, Arthur Papa Odera, holder of national ID number 9621815 and PO Box 49620506, having been elected as Deputy Governor of the County of Busia, do hereby confirm that I have read and understood the Leadership and Integrity Act number 19 of 2012 and commit to abide by the General Leadership and Integrity Code as set out under part two of the act. Thank you, Anna. I now call upon uh, Your Excellency and you to kindly take your seat and sign a vote. Yeah. 
May I take this opportunity to have the singular honor of congratulating Dr. Paul Ndesotoma for being elected as second governor of Busia County. With your running mate, who is now the deputy governor, Arthur Odera. Your Excellency, Chairman, former Chairman of the Council of Governors, Sitting Governor Kakamega County, Dr. Wycliffe Ambeto Paranya, and your team. Mine is to recognize on behalf of the members of the County Assembly, pass our congratulations and therefore request members of the First County Assembly who are here members of the Second County Assembly who are here, and all the members elect of the Third County Assembly, may you just stand and wave. Kindly. Thank you very much. These are the members of the First Assembly, Second Assembly, and Third Assembly who are elect. In finality, it's just to wish Your Excellency the Governor and your deputy and your team to wish you well on behalf of the Assembly. I wish you well and I wish you great success. At least Governor Jamum, you are a former Governor. Me, I'm still a sitting speaker. <laughs> so I think I can authoritatively speak on behalf of the assembly, though I know sooner or later I'll join your club as a former speaker. And also just to say to the people of Busia, thank you for giving me the singular honor. The first speaker of Busia, having served you for 10 years, I want to believe it has not been a mean feat. We have worked well, and I want to trust in the Lord. We shall still remain the sons of Busia and moving forward. Where you think we can give some advice or where we can give some direction, we shall always be available. So, Pahaya Machate, Kwanyaba, Busia, I wish everybody well. I will not be defending my seat as a speaker. I want to believe that I've done my ten years and I wish you all God's blessing. Bongo, our bank is Asante uh, sana speaker, uh, Honorable Bernard Gomado. Uh, I also want to invite uh, outgoing Senator, uh, Honorable Amos Situila Wako. Karibu. Wycliffe Ambeta 
or Maraya. Thank you for coming. What to Abusia? I'm Jambo. I'm Jambo Tena. I take this opportunity to dearly congratulate your Excellency, the Honorable Dr. Paul Nkesa Oduoma, and your able deputy for having been sworn in this morning or afternoon. This morning. I know the newly sworn in government. I know that he has wanted to run for this job for quite some time. I know that in 2007, particularly, we had to persuade him not to stand in favor of those Peter Odeki or Jamon, mainly because I was a lawyer and I had to have a test of as governor. <laughs> I know you also stood in 2013, and now he has gotten it. But most important, I know that he has a vision for this country, for this country, and its people. He means well for each and every person residing in this county irrespective of his or her ethnicity, sex, and other uh, differences. He wants to bring all of us in Musia together. I know that he wants to achieve the purposes for which the evolution was founded in the Constitution. And if you read Article 174 and 5 of the Constitution, one of the major purposes was to enable us, the people of Busia, to be involved in our governance, to be involved in the development of the entire country. It was to enable us, the people of Busia, to have access to, to the services, to the medical services, educational, like everything. And I know, he means well, he, ha he has, to my mind, a very good team, the newly elected MCS, the newly elected members of parliament, it's a homogeneous team, and all of you working together, I am quite sure that the vision for which Dr. Nyongesa has is going to be realized. I thank my former colleagues. Let me just shake the hand of my, take this opportunity, take the hand of, uh, no, of my, my successor. Oh, oh. <laughs> I just want to take the time, and, and I know he is my son. People do not know, but he is my son. And I'm glad that uh, you have you seated me, and again, you together with the, the other elected leaders, we uh, make the people of Busia enjoy for the first time the benefits of the evolution. I will not give you a chance. Yeah, in, 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 in fact, it's just reminding me that I'm the one who launched his first book in my own. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Sante Sana, uh, uh, Senator Nae Ondoka, uh, Amos Chena Wako. I'm going to talk about the Kumkarabisha vile vile kabana na yondoka uh, His Excellency Suspita Wadeke Otebo Makofi kwa hivyo Mimi ni mwana Suspita
Peter of Peter the Mount. Gavana ya kuzia ni Dr. Paul Nyongesa. Kuma. Sabi mi ni mipuja pa. Mipuja na pata kusubiri. Ya kamu na. Ya kashoro. Lakini ni doka pa daera na taxi. Ya ni ukweni ya wangu. Sabi mi ni raya. Kita sema kwa watu wa kusia. Kwa watu wa kusia. Kile ishima mwenipatia hali wa kagu. Kita sema shukurani sana. Mwongoza watu kwa miaka kumi. Kiso ni kuraizi. Hakuna gari yangu ime tukio mawe. Kama nyumba yangu ime choma. Kama bibi yangu ime tukupana. Kama familia yangu. Tukaraniwa na kita sema. Kwa wale MCA ama tumefanya na hawa Kwa jwa kuna wale wanasema agrabana ni kitu raisi MCA kwa hangu kwa muda wa kwanza na wapili Hata siku moja Amuja wa yeze ishari ya kumipichi Kusema tumefanya kazi pamoja Mungu pia wa ingine Kwa wale mjongoza mba wana kuja sasa Kuongozi siyo kitu raisi Kuongozi siyo kitu raisi Nasema Na wachia wachia kusia Koro yako yote Na mapenzi yako yote Muapeleke bali Watu wetu wawesu kupata kazi Watu wetu wawesu kupata uduma Nile mwenikuwa mwenikusema atakuna madawa kwa hospital Si ati oja mwama akependa ati madawa kwa hospital Apaga Kuja Kulajikishe kwa kutuwe na madawa Sini Kulajikishe kwa mamanamara ya dhaku Sini Kulajikishe kwa chekechea wa Matuwe mtara kuzoni Sini Kwa hivyo mimi na atakitu mazoni Sina maniku mimi Lakini kapa ziyaka Kuna first lady ya baya likuwa na tumita Wepi ya kuja sana bia kusema kuja hapu wapu uko wapu Kuja tuu wapu wapu Kupanjia wapu kwa heri ya kuonana Sini Kuna kwa sawa Kajini mimi kijana heyu Mimi sasa na rungu kuja uku Kuja uwe Kuna kwa 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 Kama na wetu mpendwa, katika lipuwa ni ongeza Toma, mama mpenda, mama Mrs. Otoma, gongozi ya mbongo hapa siku ya leo, gavana ambaya ametuwacha ambaya nesema ni raia, sospita oteke wa zabo, na wanaichi wote wabusia, na wasalimu nyote na mjambo, mimi nasema ni asante sana kwa kazi ya mbongo metuwatia, nasema mungu wazidi kuwa bariki, na fasi ya mbongo metuwatia tuwa ongoze, Inasema mungu wa mechusaidia, inasema yote tisa kumi ni tumewawacha kwa mkono ya daktari Paul Nyongesa Otomo Na najua ya daktari ya tatuongoza vizuri Mama mpendwa ambaye kuja kuchukua na kazi yangu Mama Otoma, Mrs. Otoma, naomba uweze ukuje, tuweze tukasalimiana Nikikuachia watu wa kuzia Nikikuachia watu wa kuzia Tunamuachia watu wabusia, tutatambia na yeye, tutafana kazi na yeye, akitaka ushawishi wangu pia nitamuelekeza, yeye ni mama kwangu, lakini nikiwa pasteli wa kwanza, nitamuachia kwa mikono mzuri, na tutafana kazi pamoza. Asantani sana, na mungu wa ziki wa bariki, kwa majina na itu wa juni ya unamu wa jamongu, asantani sana.
wamuzia kaunti alia huyu ndio wake ata ondera na mama polo thomas bwana wacha kutaka wote wote ambao wako hapa na wanaiki kwa jumla mjambo mimi kwanza nataka ni congratulate rafiki yangu Paul Koma na nyinyi watu wa kusia kwa kumchagua kuwa gavana wa pili wa Busia County na pia kupikia kura nyingi mheshimiwa rais na mbona Thank you Asante ni nyote na mimi nitasema kwa ufupi Your Excellency our newly minted governor from Busia County Dr Paul Otoma and all protocol observed respect to all leaders what Busia hamjambo Nataka niseme leo niseme shukrani kwa watu wa Busia kwa kupiga kura kuchagua umoja, kuchagua maendeleo na kuchagua mabadiliko ambayo tunataka kwa kaunti yetu. Asanteni sana. Na the sun when the sun shines because we want change. When the sun shines it brings light. But sometimes when the sun shines it also brings some heat. I pray to God to help us all realize that the heat comes with the light and the heat will go where it should and if we are uncomfortable with the heat 
let us know that the heat is the price we pay for the light that the sun brings to us. In 2013, when we elected the first county government, we, the people of Busia, had high hopes. We had high expectations. We wanted our lives to change. But today, as we sit here, there are no drugs and equipment in hospitals. Where there is a problem of water, we have a water crisis. Farmers are desperate because in the spirit of the sun, we must shed light and the sun does not fear to shed light and heat together. Now, because we have problems and because we must shine light and because sometimes the light comes with the heat, we must ensure that in this county, in this county government, led by Dr. Otoma, we must have systems, processes, and procedures that work for the people of Busia. We must make sure that every day as we rise, we think about our people and work for our people. We must make sure that our staff and all our resources are directed towards making the lives of our people better. We must make sure that the values that we espouse of governance and leadership are brought to bear so that we improve the lives of our people. And most importantly, we must deliver development that the people can see and touch. To our brother, my brother, my friend, my governor, I want to say this to you. As you lead Busia, I want you to lead, strive with confidence, knowing that as we pursue the mission we set for ourselves, for the benefit of our people, I will always be by your side. May God bless all of us. May God bless Busia. May God bless our governor. Governor, may God give you good health. May God give you strength. May God continue to give you wisdom as you lead our people. Now, ladies and gentlemen, may I take this distinct opportunity on this important day to welcome our new historian governor, Busia Mweshimiwa Paul Nyongesa Otoma. Governor Karibu.
tuko na mheshimiwa Bobu Kaunya ya Jason Nord mnamtambua yuko hapa tuko na mheshimiwa Odanga ambaye ni mmoja ya siku ya leo yuko na sisi hapa tuko mheshimiwa Oyula aliomba radhi kwa sababu ameenda shughuli za kanisa kule Roma na wengi ambao wanaangalia runinga ama magazeti walimuona tu na Papa mtakatifu kule Roma ameenda maombi tuko na mheshimiwa Shua Be Rafael Wajaga
limited access to educational facilities and training opportunities among other challenges. Fellow citizens, issues highlighted above require immediate action because they affect the backbone of the livelihood of our people. As an ODM elected governor, I subscribe to the philosophy of social democracy, that is, my Shabora Wakilamu. This is the philosophy of our party leader, the right honorable Raila Monodinga has always said that as a citizen, the government exists for the well-being of the citizens. Let me at this juncture appreciate our party leader, whom I am highly indebted for, for the support and his contribution for the reforms in the political and social dimension of our country and Africa. Together, I believe in our Zekan to change the destiny of the people of Busia. Great people of Busia, this election taught us that we are one people under one God, and no one can divide us on the basis of our tribes, class, regions, or religions. We went into this election as one, and we are finished as one. The people have demonstrated that individual prejudices cannot be taken as community prejudices. And I repeat, individual prejudices cannot be taken to be community prejudices. <laughs> this is a call to leaders that we can, we must embrace and preach unity and mean what we preach. The people of Busia have chosen unity. In the spirit of embracing that unity, I want to commit to form an all-inclusive government and representation in all sectors of our administration. Therefore, leaders, let us unite with one heart and one mind to do the work which our people expect us to do. Ladies and gentlemen, my administration's key priority areas will be as follows. Improving and revamping the provision of health services, Afia Niman. Within the first 100 days of my administration, I shall mobilize resources to ensure that our hospitals have got adequate drugs and that pharmaceuticals. I shall work on the first list of our lower level health facilities to provide, uh, sorry, to provide primary health care, to reduce referrals to our county referral hospital. We shall strengthen institutional technical capacity for provision of effective health care services, delivery in our health facilities and, national, and that of the National Health Insurance Fund, that is NHIF coverage. Additionally, we shall work to improve access to quality health care services through investment in infrastructure of level one facilities, promotion of sustainable health financing through inclusion of population in HIF that shall be a priority in our agenda. I will lobby the national government in upgrading the Seattle Department Hospital to level 6. This is a consideration of high population. This is in consideration to the high population that is served across East African region with a view of increasing national government funding to the facility. I will equip and improve level 4 health facilities in Ambale, Port Victoria, Cochonia, Mkura, Siopon, Unyang, in a, and some more additional ones that we are going to upgrade. I want to enhance community and health partners engagement in preventative health intervention is expected to reduce the mobility rates in our county. I shall implement a scheme of service to all practitioners in health sector, including community health volunteers, CHBs in the health department to improve service delivery. I hope CHBs you are here. But even as we do this, I direct that our health practitioners change their attitude and improve on how they deal with the people seeking services because people have got the right to access quality health care. On food security, a hungry population is an unproductive population. 
Today, we are faced with a serious shortage of food to feed our people. When the county government may not provide food directly to the citizens, it has a responsibility to provide support services that ensure people produce enough food to feed themselves and that land and earn a living out of agricultural investment. Today, the cost of two kilograms of maize, even bad, Yamaidi, I can see they are put here at 140, but when I was in Nairobi, it was 240. Majority of our people cannot afford this. Families are starving. To address this, my administration will strengthen producer groups in the agricultural sector and link them up with the markets and business development services providers to promote our own business and exploit local market opportunities. I shall promote livestock, breeding, to breeding improvement to improve quality and increase supply support of best vulnerable households with farm inputs and implements, and impoverished and improve proxy and strengthen the capacity of agricultural extension teams and officers in providing extension services to and advice to farmers on the best agronomic practices and climate smart agriculture and other agricultural technologies. We intend to improve and entrench irrigation farming to ensure areas with sufficient water catchment like Bunyala and parts of Teso North sub-counties have maximum production from the sector to feed the county and even the country. At, at the national level, I shall seek intervention of the national government. National Fisheries Research Institute and create economic stimulus programs to support aquaculture, cage farming, and rural economy projects. I will further request for the refocusing of mainstream agricultural research institutes, such as Grand Rural and Cali, to support production of diversified agricultural products in the country with a view of improving seed quality and subsequent increased productivity. For water, our focus shall be on the provision of clean and safe water. There is no life without water, and that means clean water. During engagement with the people of Busia, families have expressed serious challenges, serious challenges accessing these essential commodities. As a county government, we shall carry out feasibility studies, surveys are designed to develop and implement to see a county water master plan for construction of water supply systems, sanitation, and hygiene solutions. I commit to support water and sewerage companies in the county through a policy framework and public private partnerships to ensure that this critical commodity that is available to our population, this critical commodity is available to our population. I shall expand the available water sources through pipeline extension construction with a view of reducing the walking distance in search of water within the town. Fellow citizens, as a matter of necessity and better practice, my administration shall establish a Busia County Economic Council composed of business community, foreign and domestic investors, senior civil servants, and the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the relevant stakeholders in the economy with the objective of developing an economic recovery plan to guide our physical planning and investment which shall guide the county in all economic investment areas. I'm saying this because you are aware that today we are ranked among the fourth poorest county in the Republic of Kenya. That is unacceptable where we see this to be. And we have some senior citizens there, some who are going out of civil service. AGA ministers who are here, we expect you to mobilize the civil servants who have contributed enormously to this country to help us with this economic council. Attorney General, the ministers and their going senator are to work. You have been a senior civil servant, I expect you to help us on this day. Improvement on transport infrastructure development. Through 
through collaboration with the relevant national government agencies and other development partners, my government will endeavor to construct a joint carriageway from Corina Junction to the border of these traffic congestions. Through the same partnership, we shall construct a bypass from Munika to Rumai, to Lanza, to the border to the limits of Trela, to the highways within town. We will complete and equip the trailer parks in Munika and Malaba to be congested to border town within our town. We shall engage national government to establish a dry port in Nasewa and other towns to provide logistical services of lighting goods that are advancing to East and Central Africa. Beautification of Kusia and other towns, Kusia County provides herself as a gateway to East and Central Africa. Through Kusia and Malaba borders point, the county has unrivaled access opportunities brought about by the regional integration. In view of the above, my government will endeavor to improve the status of the two towns by improving security, expansion of roads, installation of electricity to create a 24 hours economy. The initiative, the initiative will also be replicated in other urban centers within the county. On the issue of empowerment of women, youth, and people living with disabilities, fellow citizens, as a county, we are faced with the danger of our youth, women, and people living with disabilities lacking opportunities for meaningful and gainful employment opportunities. Even though the county government cannot employ all the people, we have a responsibility to create an environment that will be conducive for investment to provide employment opportunities for our people. To boost the income generation opportunity for these groups, my administration will conduct financial literacy awareness on credit and banking services through relevant departments to provide access to available tailored credit and financial services to organize groups like border borders, mamangogas, as well as offering grants and loans on favorable terms to most enable them to do business. We used to have trade loans. That disappeared. Our people today are living on uh, this mitandao thing to do with politicizing and all these kind of things. Special planning and special planning and other development. My administration will develop, prepare, and implement special plans for Busia and Malaba municipality and all other urban towns within the county. Special plans will indicate the development framework of all essential services, such as the sewerage system, urban road network, water supply, human settlement, recreation center, cemeteries, among others. We shall thereafter develop guidelines and tools to support the implementation of the special plan in the county. On the issue of promotion of investment in education, especially ECD, vocational training, bursaries, and scholarships, Education is a great equalizer in our society. The quality of our teacher depends on the quality of education we offer our children. A good educational foundation determines the final product in the land. My government shall ensure enhanced access to equitable education and training opportunities, expand access and retention to integrated public ECD education services. We have prioritized provision of bursary and scholarship opportunities to the needy and bright learners, as well as, as well as at all levels of learning, so that the students drop out in learning institutions on account of financial challenges is eliminated. We shall endeavor to offer market-driven technical education, training for the people, with special needs, provide income generating skills and capabilities. My government shall also develop a cost-effective local source community-owned homegrown school-based meal programs in all ECD centers and boost nutrition among learners. 
Provision of learning spaces is a key priority for this government. In terms of supporting the local industry and manufacturing in the town, we acknowledge that economic growth and direct job creation by the administration shall prioritize support through policy framework and direct investment in food processing, dry port, logistical services, agricultural value addition, manufacturing, as well as mining prospects in the county. As mentioned earlier, my government will create a conducive environment that will attract both local and foreign investment. Improvement on county local revenue collection. There is evidence that the county has been unable to realize the set local revenue targets in the past decade despite increased revenue streams. This perennial shortfall in revenue collection has affected implementation of county budget. My administration will put in place stringent measures both administratively and in policy to address the challenge with its immediate effect. He will honor after this. Development of information and communication technology. We shall link all functional areas in the county, sub county, and world level, as well as national departments and agencies, through the establishment of an integrated central ICT delivery unit. We shall invest in fiber optic infrastructure to ease access to sharing information to the public. My administration will work to establish Wi Fi, wi -fi hotspots in selected areas within the county to enable our young people access internet. <laughs> in conclusion, I want to reiterate that Busia is a cosmopolitan in nature, and this brings all Kenyans are here in Busia because of the opportunities that this county offers to the citizens of this country. And we want to build a united county that will embrace all communities that live here in Busia for the sake of a better future for our children and those that will come after us. As your government, I promise with I promise that with God on our side and with your full support, I will deliver on the manifesto, I will not let you down. In our regard. Yeah, I'm 
nimependa kusema siku ya leo unajua huyu ni kijana baba amekuwa wazee amekuwa mtu amekebea dunia hii yote ameona maendeleo katika hizi zote lakini wengi wetu wanaenda wanatembea wanaona hata kama wanaona kama ile ile siti ya baina ya ile tao kametembelea ni safi akifika hapa hawezi kufanya haki ya kwa safi hawezi kufanya ni safi Mmoja tuko na toka ngapo kule kunaitwa Miami ukiangalia Lami ni kama wamepaka Lami Tukasema Ukifika na Rodi Airport mimi nafuta he tukijuko na kimara gari wazini kama mimi Mimi yeye iko mbele yangu mimi ndio kuna na gari yangu kwenda kuangalia ule yule alikuwa anasema ni mahali ni safi si anakupa karatasi ili aandika tena waziri mzima kwa hiyo tafadhali fanya kazi umepewa nafasi ya wanafunzi tunataka kukuambia hapana unataka uongeze kwa hivyo mradi please be happy good masoko sisi tukokuwa vijana ulikuwa unataka kutafuta msichana unaenda kwa kwa